Thanks, Tanya. 23 minutes past seven. Now, you are an alien. You are living on a planet zillions of light years from Earth. One day, your sensors pick up proof that there is life on Earth. Though it's a pretty strange life. You've tuned into a stream of tweets that the Earthlings have sent into space. It could happen. The plan to send the tweets is afoot. Nathaniel Stern is an artist and associate professor at the University of Wisconsin and is on the line, uh, as is Anu Ocha, who is uh, director of the uh, National Space Academy in Leicester. Um, Nathaniel Stern, Professor Stern, set out the plan. Basically, we'll be collecting... Uh, however many messages in a perf live performance on the 21st of September. We'll be projecting those messages in a planetarium-like dome in New Mexico as part of the International Symposium in Electronic Art. Everyone who tags their messages, hashtag tweets in space, will then also have their messages beamed towards GJ667CC, the closest and most likely <laughs> exoplanet that might support human-like biological life. And um, Anuja beamed is is a rather sort of general word what what specifically um can be done to send these tweets in a manner that makes them potentially accessible good morning justin good morning, good morning professor stern um it certainly can be done you, you you could fire them out in 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 a radio beam or using a laser carrier wave and, and we need to remember that this type of thing has been done before back in 1974 Humanity did its first focused electronic shout to the universe. It was a, a signal that was sent to a bundle of stars 25,000 light years away. And so we can certainly shout our presence to the universe. The big problem is, will anybody who might be out there be able to decode what we're twittering on about? Yeah, I mean, that's the problem, isn't it, Nathaniel Stern? We, we, we used to do these things, I suppose, in a rather more top-down manner, didn't we? That, that um, experiment in 1974. This is more democratic, but it might be a bit more confusing for the, um, for the aliens. Did it might catch um, what uh, Dr. Oja said, unfortunately, through the line. I'm only hearing what you're saying. But, um, oh, dear. Well, ha hang on. Let, let me just paraphrase, because I mean, he's making the point that this has been done once before. It was done in 1974, but it was done in a kind of concerted way, a message from Earth uh, to the outside uh, um, uh, worlds. And what I'm suggesting to you is that you're doing it again. You're doing it more democratically, but it might be more confusing for someone to pick up. Indeed. I mean, I think what's exciting for Scott Kildall and I, that's my collaborator on the project, is not only that it's more democratic and that anyone can send messages across, but that it becomes this global public performance where it's actually a, a real-time conversation and dialogue. That's why we're doing it in a set half an hour time frame. And so we're articulating together in dialogue, in conversation, who and how we are as a people. So we have to assume, though, of course, that the aliens want to hear about furry domesticated animals that meow. <laughs> I know, Roger. Yeah, I mean, I, I I think it's a fantastic artistic expression. We do need to remember, Justin, though, that if if there are aliens there and they could understand what we're what we're communicating about, then right now they're picking up signals from 1990. And when I looked back in my in my top of the pops charts, if we haven't put them off with uh, the best of Vanilla Ice and Ice Ice Baby, <laughs> then maybe we've got a chance of a reply in 2056. Yeah, there is a danger, Nathaniel Stern, isn't there? That that tweets. Um do put them off because um, you're getting a particular kind of humanity, a particular slice. Well, we do. Have I'm not going to say it's the less attractive ourselves. slice, but it's you know a slice. Indeed, and luckily we have 44 years to prepare ourselves for their responses. <laughs> Daniel Stern, uh, Anuja, thanks both very much.